Hi, I'm Ian Kayanja. And I'm Hanley Riggs. And you're watching the Vision News Network. After 20 years, Belmont University will have a new university president, Dr. L. Gregory Jones. VNN's Jordan Chateau got to speak with some students around campus to discuss how they felt about this new leadership. After 20 years, Belmont University will welcome its next university president to campus, Dr. L. Gregory Jones. As this exciting transition begins, I spoke with a variety of Belmont students to gain a better understanding of what they would like to see from their next president. For students such as senior Aaron Fontenot, this begins with bringing more diversity to campus. I would like to see more black students on campus or Hispanic students or whatever, like, um, but like the first thing that I have to see is like the numbers. I need to see that the numbers of minority students on campus are rising. And there's a number of ways to go about that, obviously, but that's step one. And then hopefully we get to see more of what naturally comes about from that, like more organizations that aren't necessarily centered on it, but like include important elements or include and broadcast like the values that like minority groups bring. Junior music business major Molly McCarthy hopes that Belmont's administration will work to diversify its staff in the same way it has its Belmont student body. I mean, there's been a lot of change in Belmont over the past like decade. Like I think it was like 10 or 12 years ago, Belmont was associated with the Southern Baptist Church. And then they left because like there's been a huge increase in students from Curb and you know, there's been an artsier crowd, a more liberal crowd. And so I think there's been kind of this struggle between the old and the new Belmont. And I guess what I want to see is I want to see the administration reflect the values and views of the community and the students and the professors that I've come to know who are all very accepting and diverse. Junior design communications major Sophie Lasher suggests the new president will communicate frequently and transparently with students regarding his work towards diversity. I feel like Belmont has a really particularly great divide between the values of its administration and of its student body. Um, so sometimes it's important to make points like this saying, hey students, we are together in this, we know what's going on. Maybe we don't feel like admins on our side, but like we are all feeling the same thing. Dr. Jones has already met with a few student organizations to discuss his plans to continue making Belmont more diverse. Marcus Knight, a member of the Black Student Association, is hopeful for what Belmont will achieve in the coming years. College is about becoming a more well-rounded human being rather than just learning new things, um, academically rather. So I think once we learn how to um, embrace other people's stories, where they come from, what they contribute to society. Um, I think that's the key. I think that's the key to any college success, any, especially such an artistic school as us. Um, I think that's very, very important. For VNN, I'm Jordan Chateau. Thanks, Jordan. I'm glad we got a chance to hear some student perspectives. In other news, VNN correspondent Finn Burney spoke with Chief of Campus Security, Pat Cunningham, to learn more about how you can stay safe on campus. I'm Finn Burney outside Belmont Campus Security, where instances of aggressive panhandling have recently been reported at a higher volume. I spoke with Head of Campus Security, Chief Cunningham, to learn how students can stay safe in these situations. Aggressive panhandling occurs when individuals use intimidation to obtain money or goods. These cases are not new to Belmont's campus and Chief Cunningham believes they occur because of a pattern with the generosity of students. The students seem to be more generous in wanting to help and more willing to reach into their pocket and give them whether it's a dollar or five dollars or twenty dollars. Um, so I, I think they're specifically looking at colleges and universities as being an area that is more friendly to their approach. Uh, and again, as long as it's in the commercial area, I think it's somewhere where you'd expect to see it. It's when it gets in these um, through streets uh, where people are going simply to, to the residence halls or to classes. Uh, I think that has a different feel to it. Chief Cunningham has provided some tips for students to stay safe if they ever find themselves in this situation. I would say if you come across somebody and they really seem like they need the money to you, 
um, and they need gas or they need to money to get somewhere, call campus security. We'll be glad to try to assist them. We do that regularly. Um, and we think that's a healthier way to make sure they get the assistance they need. In incidences when panhandling can become aggressive, Chief Cunningham recommended students try and disengage, move to a safe location and call campus security. Additionally, students can file a report on any suspicious activity that they witness on campus. The easiest thing is to call. Uh, we are on, have a dispatcher on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The number is 615-460-6617. We've got at least three officers on patrol at any given time. We can send an officer to them. And so if a situation where somebody has gone into a residence hall and they're in a safe place, we prefer they stay there and wait for us to come to them. Um, certainly they can walk in. We do have a front desk here and we'd be glad to speak with them. Um, but, but most commonly it's easier for them to call um, from that indoor space and then we'll send an officer to meet with them. For VNN, I'm Finn Bunny. Thank you, Finn. We'll be sure to keep those tips in mind. Now on to something a little bit more fun, Belmont Sports. I was able to catch up with head coach of the men's basketball team, Casey Alexander, and star point guard Grayson Murphy to discuss how they have been doing with these major wins. Let's check it out. I'm Hanley Riggs outside the Curb Event Center where the Belmont men's basketball team has been making history all season long. The Bruins are ranked top 25 nationally and 18 of the statistical categories. February was another busy month for the Bruins as they defeated Tennessee Tech to ensure the regular season OVC championship. This is the third straight title that the Bruins have got and the seventh out of the past nine seasons. Grayson Murphy got his first collegiate triple-double this season with 13 points, 12 rebounds, and 10 assists. This was in a home game against Moorhead State. Head coach of the Belmont men's basketball team, Casey Alexander, was named to the men's coach of the year watch list. I was able to catch up with Coach Alexander and Grayson Murphy. Coach says that he is looking forward to these last couple games of the season and is feeling very good about them. I feel good because the guys continue to show up ready to go. I mean, you know, usually when you get in a situation like this, there's two options. One, you kind of feel some pressure. Right. You know, or yeah. you have a letdown uh, because, you know, you think it's going to happen easily. But we've avoided both of those things just by enjoying the game and, and team being ready, showing up ready to play each day. Grayson Murphy discussed how the team has been coming together week after week to get the win. Yeah, it's just all the guys locking in, um, just staying focused, whether it's the scouting report or, you know, getting our bodies ready to um, compete every night. But, you know, uh, we feel like our coaches give us the best game plan going into each game and uh, for us to stick to that and complete the game plan. For VNN, I'm Hanley Riggs. We're so glad to hear that the Belmont team has been having such a successful season. Go Bruins! And our final story of the month is an office concert featuring Belmont singer and songwriter Gabriel Broussard. What's up, y'all? My name is Gabriel Thomas Broussard, and this is my office concert with The Vision. Uh, this is my song, Devil Eyes. Hope you like it. It's hard to deny this feeling It's hard to quantify why you're so appealing And I need someone to bail me out I'm feeling like a criminal And if I make it out alive it would be a miracle Cause she's got devil eyes And she set her sights on me Her skin is touching mine But somehow she's underneath it And I'm in so deep that I can't leave I'm right where she wants me now but I need someone, I need someone to hold me out. I know what she wants. I know I'm not 
not mistaken But it's more than just a game This thing that we're playing The things that you're saying Just to find a way to put me at ease Then you find a way to knock me back Down on my knees She's got devil eyes And she set her sights on me Her skin is touching mine But somehow she's underneath I'm in so deep that I can't leave I'm right where she wants me now But I need someone, I need someone to hold me out Cause she's got devil Thanks for watching the February edition of VNN. We'll see you in March and be sure to check out all of our news coverage at the Belmont Visions website. Touch your mind, but somehow she's underneath. And I'm in so deep that I can't leave. I'm right where she wants me now. But I need someone, I need someone.